June 1994, the rogue comet Shoemaker Levy 9 approached Jupiter. As it did, observers on Earth soon realized it was on a collision course. But what it did next was totally unexpected. It split into 23 sections, and one by one, these flash impacted on the surface of the mighty Jupiter. Each flash devastated area was the size of Earth. For the first time, modern man had witnessed a comet collide with a planet. Had mankind witnessed just such an event in the past, could it happen to Earth in the future? Hi, I'm Peter Mungo Jupp. Welcome to Ancient Destructions. Now, around the world, archaeology is a hotbed of mystery. Whether you go to South America, Africa, the Syrian plains, you find abandoned civilizations, civilizations buried under rubble. You've got to ask yourself, what happened to these civilizations? Aboriginal traditions and mythology are all about cosmological warfare in the plasma of space. We were up and down on the mountain. A river out to sea. We lift off to the stars above. Our spirits shine for free. They mention meteorites falling to Earth and killing people. They mention comets. They mention planets in disturbed motions. Tsunamis sweeping across the land. People turn to stone. Massive storms. Thunderbolts from the gods. Mountain building, river building, all destined to be passed down in oral tradition. And this is where the white myth interpreters get it very badly wrong. To the Aboriginal people, these events actually happen. They're not representations, they're not symbolic, they actually occurred, and not so long ago. As soon as we twigged that tsunami was possible along the coast, we began to find more evidence, and the evidence got bigger and bigger, higher and higher. Shells everywhere. Little ones, small as this. This is no Aboriginal midden. This is the result of some cataclysmic destructive force. We put the age probably into the uh, 15th century. The Koreans were watching a comet in 1491, February 12th. Really? And on February 14th, it disappeared. It wasn't there. And it made a very close approach to the Earth. And there were some astronomers who believed it actually hit. But we would be looking at a way able to go over headlands up to 80 meters. 80 the... meters high. Yeah. That's very high. Very. <laughs> Plenty long ago, men could cross dry foot from our side of the bay to Geelong. There was a great harrigan, then bending of the trees and uprooting. The earth sank and the sea rushed in through the heads till the void places became broad and deep, just as they are today. What dramatic event occurred here. In our next episode, we're going to discover exactly what did happen. Very mysterious. We were up and down on the mountain. A river out to sea. 